Things first, we got to start with the knee block. There are three variations of this technique, but we'll start with the most important, which is where you put your leg, oftentimes your own knee, in front of your opponent's knee. Here's another view of it. See how Hamzat's knee is in front of his opponent's knee? Now what Hamzat's going to do is drive towards the knee that's blocked. This is the motion that Hamzat will use to set up the whole system. Now oftentimes, Hamza can use the knee block as a way to stay on top of his opponent. It's a leg ride in itself. But here's the thing, when Shemaev knee blocks and drives in that direction, he either is going to break the opponent down, or he's going to break down his opponent, off-balancing them for long enough and distracting them long enough, in order for Hamza to advance to the next leg ride, which in this case is going to be a calf pin like you're seeing here. A technique that Hamza set up through using the knee block. If you understand striking, it might be useful to you to think of this version of the knee block as the jab of the leg rides. It is a low effort, high reward technique that when combined with this motion of driving towards it, sets up the rest of the techniques within the leg riding system. Let's take a look at that in action. So Hamzat begins driving his opponent over that knee. And while he does that, he's able to navigate his way to getting a higher level leg ride, which is the Western Hook. A technique which we'll be breaking down later in this video. Now Hamzat's going to continue pressing down towards that knee block. Only now he has the knee block and the Western Hook in place. So it's even worse now. And once again, he sets up a higher position using that knee block. So we've got the knee block here, right? And we've also got the Western Hook still here. Now because that western hook is there, Hamzat can go even further up the leg ride hierarchy now. So watch Hamzat's knee as his opponent lifts his own leg up. He's trying to escape that western hook. Hamzat anticipating it, releases his western hook and slides that knee block in. And now he's got a position he's even more dangerous from than the other two, which is this inside grapevine. We'll be going over this move later in this video, but what's important to know is it's high up on the leg ride hierarchy, it's very good, but he got there using the knee block, something low on the hierarchy, to set it up. To really drive this point home, let's take a look at another example. So here, Hamzat has that knee block in play. And as I've been saying, he's going to use that driving motion towards this knee block in order to get his opponents off balance here. And when he does that, he sets up this calf pin. Knowing the opponent will try to free his leg from this calf pin, as you're about to see here. Notice the opponent is lifting the leg up in an attempt to free himself from that leg ride. Hamzat's already released that calf pin. Hamzat, since he has a system, automatically knows when that leg comes up, he's gonna slide his leg in that space and once again establish a high leg ride on the hierarchy, the inside grapevine. This is a move Hamzat can absolutely crush people with, but notice he set it up with that knee block. That's what I want you really to take away from this first version of the knee block. That first version sets up everything else. So that was the first version of the knee block. Let's take a look at the second version now. Difference being here, he's resting his knee on top of the opponent's knee instead of placing his knee in front of the opponent's knee like we saw in the first version. Now this is going to accomplish a couple things. One, pins that opponent's leg to the floor. Two, is it's going to free up the same side hand as Chimaev. So not only are you immobilizing one of his joints, but you're mobilizing one of your own. Now let's take a look at another example. So here we can see Hamzat's hand is engaged in grappling, but as he slides that knee on top of his opponent's knee, he's now going to be able to pull that arm free and do what he likes with it. In this case, he's going to put it back into grapple, but since that knee remains on top, he's going to be able to take it out again. Now we've also got an elevated knee block, and what I mean by elevated knee block is that instead of resting on his knee, Hamzat's going to be resting on his foot for this one. That's going to put the knee up higher, elevated. And when he does this, you're going to see him pushing his knee in. In this case, it's going to trap the shoulder and keep his opponent trapped up against that cage. So that pushing in is a big one with this. A big advantage of this elevated knee block is that you're pretty much halfway to standing already. You're a lot closer to standing than your opponent is. So as your opponent gets up, like as you're seeing here, you're going to notice Hamzat 
is going to stand up all the way. And what he's going to do is just throw his kneeling opponent to his right, continue the momentum, throw him down. And what he's going to do is just throw his kneeling opponent to his right, continue the momentum, throw him down. And now, as I'm sure you know, things are not looking too good for Hamzat's opponent from this position. Let's take a look at another example of this elevated knee block. Here we see that that knee is up and he doesn't have control of that shoulder yet so he's pressing his knee into the opponent's ribs for right now so you can see he's maintaining control a lot of wrist fighting here and now watch he's gonna slide his knee in front of his opponent's shoulder to get control over that shoulder see that there and in doing so you notice that shoulder is really blocked off by that knee now Hamza is able to free that arm and now he's able to do whatever he wants with this. In this case, he's gonna hit him. And I think what's important to remember is that he flows through a system of leg locks. So if he ever wants to abandon this elevated knee position, all he's gotta do is put his knee down, and now he's gonna be returning to that first knee block that we discussed. 